Happy Mother's Day. This is my life after MS Mother's Day special. I'm gonna talk about what I thought I knew but had no idea, my advice to new moms, and a special treat, my baby's first week milestone. And it's kind of cool. So stick around and you'll see. Okay, so the first thing I thought that I knew but had no idea was that I would be able to go to work within four weeks, no problem. And the more that I am here with my baby girl, the more I realize I'm actually not ready to just go back to work right away. I had this whole idea and plan that, oh, this is fine, she's gonna pop out, I'm gonna have um, my mom here for a while, I can still go out on auditions, all that stuff like that. But the thing is, you are essentially still caring for a fetus outside of your womb. And fetuses are helpless. They literally cannot do anything for themselves at all, okay? And which brings me to my next topic, that babies are fetuses still, at least for the first three months, right? Because they don't just come out being like, okay, I, I can walk and I can, do something for myself, right? So you are literally caring for this individual and it doesn't it doesn't matter about your sleep. It doesn't matter that you're hungry. You have to take care of this baby first. And um since I'm solely breastfeeding right now, I'm I am my baby's only food source. So if I'm gone, baby's not gonna stay alive. So I have to basically be confined to this house. I can't go anywhere because if I'm gone for an hour or something like that, my baby could wake up and she'll need food, but there is no food to give her but me. So um, that was something that I thought, oh, this would be easy, okay? She's gonna breastfeed, I'll pump, I will, and then my husband could feed her while I'm away. But the thing is, when you're breastfeeding, you cannot introduce anything other than the breast for about four to five weeks or until breastfeeding is established. Well, the next thing I thought was, I had no idea how amazing swaddling is. Like that prevents your baby from sleeping one hour versus three hours because they're not overstimulating themselves and moving their hands all about and when my baby is not swaddled she is very active she's hitting her face she's got nails she kicks her legs and she does that while she's sleeping and she doesn't even know and she'll wake herself up but with the swaddle she's like wrapped up real real tight and she doesn't move it's like being inside the womb and lastly um a baby will cry whether they have gas to pain, the same cry. And it's their way of communicating right now because they can't say what they want, so they just cry. And for people who have a problem with crying because it's a very, very jarring sound, it, it catches your attention, you are nervous or scared and you're like, what am I doing wrong? which brings me to my advice section, okay? There is a book and a documentary, or rather a um, how-to video of this book. Um, luckily, one week before I went into labor, I asked my friend how many hours she's getting to sleep who just had a no newborn and she's like seven hours. And I was like, what? How are you getting seven hours of sleep? And she's like, look, you need to go on Amazon and you need to buy this movie called The Happiest Baby on the Block and buy the book too. So that's what I'm recommending. This is my life savior. Oh my goodness. I can't tell you how much I love this book. It is so vital. I've watched the movie like three times already. Um, so that's, that's my number one advice. Second advice is accept help. Don't be an idiot and think that you can do it by yourself because quite frankly, it really is true that it takes a village for you to raise 
a kid because there's no way in hell that I would be able to swaddle or change a diaper or anything like that with a c-section it's been a week and I'm still very very sore I still can't bend down and apparently I won't fully heal until about six weeks my advice on the whole body issue is don't weigh yourself I haven't weighed myself don't weigh yourself but I'm telling you I've definitely lost some weight I know that and that's a really good indicator in fact here's a picture of me one week after giving birth and this is a picture of me at 37 weeks and I gave birth on 38 weeks and this is me one week after birth okay so as you can tell I've gone down a lot um, breastfeeding has been helping and um, it's it's okay like it's okay you're it's gonna go down and I'm gonna send an update picture for next week on what my body looks like after two weeks oh yeah and you know what else I didn't know that I thought I knew you're actually still pregnant after you give birth you contract still and you're thinking you're thinking wait 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 wait, wait. okay so not only do I just have the pain of giving birth but I now have the pain of my body contracting backwards back to my uterus going back to a pear shape and it hurts just like it hurts when I went into labor and then I have these awesome boobs that now serve the purpose of feeding a baby but when the milk comes down it's so much like pressure that you're like oh my god she needs to feed and you want to like wake her up just so that she can feed had no idea none at all lastly my favorite my baby's one week milestone okay so since she was born she's literally been able to lift her head secondly my baby got her first audition for a commercial and if you stick around i will show you the clip and then believe it or not my baby smiled this week yes smiled I, I mean it was incredible I don't know that it was conscious it looked conscious she said it at the right time I mean my mother-in-law was like oh you're so beautiful and then bing and she smiled and then I actually caught a picture of her smiling to prove to people that she smiled so that's this week's episode hope you enjoyed it stick around for next week when I go over my labor Bye, guys. Baby? Hey, little girl. Hey, little girl. Hey, little Ella. Hey, little Ella. Hey. Hey, little girl.